Panola High School. Look, I think there's a couple students over there. Camper. Hacker Field. Elevation 725 feet. 40 degrees, 43. That? 0.23 north and 80 degrees, 45.47 west. And I'll go home and plug those uh, coordinates into my computer in a flight simulator and put me right here. <laughs> you can land here, huh? Well, I'm sure it's not on the simulator, but it, it, it looked like a cornfield. But, uh, uh, aren't all those, uh, I don't know, all the airports are in there. Yeah, probably not the private ones. Here's Pontiac. Back right there. One ninety five radial engine. You got that light in here? Yeah. I can probably open that up. <laughs> Seven hundred and twenty five feet MSL. Electric doors, no less. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hanger door. I get the light. Step comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Cessna Aircraft Company, Wichita, Kansas. Model 195, serial number 7016. 
date manufactured 947 all his own work. Restoration, seats, upholstery, headliner, panel. Hmm. Gorgeous. I bet that thing sounds like music. It roars. Yeah. It really, really chatter. Huh. That engine was around for a long time. That rotary. Yeah. Well, if I ever flew out here, I guess he'd let me tie down out oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't have any problem. Of course, it'd be too expensive unless I won the lottery or something. What would it cost to fly? This has been a, that was an old hangar over there. See where that sign Oh, yeah, uh-huh. They used to fly cubs, and I forget how many they could put in there. They stacked them on it. Would set them up, you know, and run another one underneath it. <laughs> they, they nosed them down, I think. I think they could put like four or five in there. That's where the guy had a he had a cross strip runway too, it's a quarter mile runway here. Huh. Yeah, you could make a landing here if you had to. Yeah, run, it's, or a, it's a quarter mile is what it was. From that fence to that fence. There was a fence down there. You know, we started farming, let's see. I think we tore it up. But that runway's been sodded probably for over 20 years, so it's really a nice, he rolls it every year. <laughs> then he put all this in. This David, that's not sodded. Well, I want to check out one of these lights you guys put in. Oh. <laughs> a bottle turned upside down. Yeah. A light bulb. I think he got those other things from the uh, phone company. There's a guy that's a private pilot. He uh, works for the phone company. <laughs> well, I tell you, you can see them a long ways off at night. Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of them too. How long is this strip? 20, well, 2650 would be a half mile, so from that, from the road up there, I think it's 26. I think it's about 2500 feet, I think. But you can back right, you can be right up there at the road, you know. That where they used Howard when he used to fly, he used to take off of that hump right down there. He come down that little dip uh -huh. this way. And he used to he'd come up out of that dip. That's yeah. where he always took off. Because <laughs> you know it'd give him a little extra. Yeah. I used to farm with, James. 
This is what you used to farm with, huh? This right here is what I learned to farm on. What year is that? Huh? What year would this tractor be? 51. 51? Huh? Yeah. ones we had were 40s, but they were all alike. <laughs> well, well, not we according can... to Don Corey, though, I'll tell you. Boy, he, he's, he, he knows everything about them, I'll tell you. That's fine. He makes his living at it. He does. <laughs> I've got a video cassette that um, Max Armstrong produced. Yeah. And, you know, and narrated. And it's really, it's good. It's up the house. Charlie Rhoda lent it to me, but I'll let you see it if you're interested. It talks, well, it talks about the Thresherman's reunion. Oh, yeah. But then Don Corey's got a rather large part where he goes through the, you know, the transition from the early farming up through the other red track. Kind of interesting. 